Hi everybody, this is Diana and this is Jeff Libler. This is the guy that Suzanne Morphew had the massive crush on, I think, in high school and reunite, reunited with him later on. And I think she was really, really in love with this guy. By the way that she speaks about him, he was the best thing ever. I mean, they had plans on getting married, on going and living in Ecuador. She really, really loved this guy. And I think, I'm thinking, Barry found out about it. Now, in the preliminary that we went over today, they said Barry didn't find out about Libra. They said Barry didn't know anything about the affair. I don't know what they're going to cover in the next two days, but I got a feeling he knew a little something about this affair. I don't know for sure. It's a speculation. But it seems to me like this might have been enough to put him over the edge. I guess we'll see later, huh? And this is another pic of him. I'm not sure about today. I don't even know what to think about today. Um, it started out with a bombshell. To me, that Suzanne's hat or her helmet from her bike didn't have a scratch on it. They put that right out first, front and center. And then second, the bobcat wasn't used in the um, disposing of Suzanne's body or whatever. The bobcat wasn't in there at all. And then the third biggie that we got was no DNA. No blood DNA anywhere. So to me, I was like, okay, we're, we must be going to get into something a little deeper. And we did. That's when they started talking about the affair Suzanne was having, which I was, I don't know if I was shocked by that or not, because really, I think we all knew that she was not happy. And you know, us as women, we're not happy. You know, we start looking for happiness. And this might just be what she was doing. I think a lot of it was this Jeff Libler was just super kind to Suzanne. And I'm not sure that she had had that kind of kindness for a while. I mean, he really seems like a heartfelt, nice guy. I know he got wrapped up in this. I know he didn't expect this. But I think they were actually going to get married. I think he fell in love too. He might have already been in love with Suzanne since high school. We don't know that. We don't know anything about that. But he seemed super happy. Super happy when she was happy. So I guess we'll find out more about that later too. Jeff Libler got Suzanne into biking. And I think she really enjoyed it. It seemed like a hobby that she was really going to embrace. She got all the gear. She got the really cute stuff to wear. She got a really nice bike. And just by the look on her face right here, she was enjoying it. And she would have had a good time with this. What a beautiful, beautiful person she is. Look at her. She is gorgeous. What a knockout. And I'm thinking that's what Barry was thinking. Oh my God, look at my gorgeous wife. She is so beautiful. And I think his greatest fear was losing her. I know it was. Because, oh my goodness, she's adorable, you know. I think he loved her too. And here's one of Jeff Liebler's high school day pics. And he is adorable. Look at this happy little guy. He looks like he was having a good time then. And I can see where she would have been attracted to him with his cute little smile. Here's another pic of Jeff in his high school days. He was, he's a good looking guy. 
He's a little cutie right here. Here's one more pick of him. And I'm getting tired because I covered this case today, so I'm going to go to bed here in a little bit. I just want to introduce you to Jeff Lidler and let you see what Suzanne's seen. I think she's seen a good-looking guy there, and he's probably very heartfelt. So at the end of the day today, that's the only information that we have so far, is that she had an affair with him. There was a spy pen. The bobcat wasn't involved. There was no blood DNA. And I will definitely see you guys on the next one. Thanks for joining me for a bit.